Well, let's take a look at some MIDI events I'm generating on my keyboard. You can see the status byte changing. It's interpreted on the far side. If you watch data one, you can see the note number changing right now. Let's clear those, those events and take a look at velocity next. Velocity is data two, so notice the louder it gets. Well, let's do a softer one. Smaller values. Also, you can notice that playing a chord generates MIDI events in very rapid succession. If you look at the timestamps off to the side, in many cases they might only vary by one time unit or, or just a few. Another way of generating MIDI events that you can look at is from a standard MIDI file. Here you can see the different channels being used. So we had channel one, channel two, here's channel three. Remember channels run between one and 16, but the values in the status byte go between zero and 15. Channel 10, as you can hear, is percussion. We can set up different voices to go along with different channels. You can even generate MIDI events from your own computer keyboard. generate multi-note chords directly from your computer keyboard, as I'm doing right now.